Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. We are well. Oh, oh, all right, our fire is is being put out violently. Um, I think we're heading back left, and we're continuing to comb through the salt marsh for various uh, forms of reputation. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. I may have already been through here. No, we didn't because I didn't see some of this left side of the screen. Okay, cool. How are you doing? We are doing pretty good. Um, almost level 20. That means we're almost like mid game level ready, sort of. Do we have some, we have some mutation points to spend. Can I throw them on light manipulation? Yes, we can. I am going to do that whenever possible because light manipulation has been kind of our main uh, output of damage. Um, uh, oh, we are inspired. I, I'm very much zooming through this whole, like, uh, making recipes for ourselves. It's been pretty good so far. Uh, salt. Oh, sure. You know what? Let's, let's use acid as well. You can use corrosive gas generation at level one, two. If you already have corrosive gas generation, is that a physical mutation? of gas generation uh that is in fact a physical mutation because we're not getting our ego uh bonus on it okay well well uh we are like it's it's very much mundane mundanity around here there's not a lot um to report it's you know we're just trying to make our make some reputation um make friends with certain villages this, this whole run is going to be very much about making friends with as many villages as possible. At least 10. Well, not 10, actually. We, we only need to make friends with uh, 10 full, like, completed villages. Not like, you know... I don't know. There's a difference between generated villages and named villages. You know, like, Ezra is a named village. I know there isn't technically a difference, but there's a difference to me. Um mostly because the named i guess the only thing that really differentiates named villages is that they have a recoiler and uh randomly generated villages tend to not have a recoiler which i think is kind of an over oh we almost walked right into spores i think is kind of an oversight i don't know why randomly generated villages don't have a recoiler um if you start like your game with a random uh, village then you can get a recoiler for that village so I'm not sure why you can't buy a uh, recoiler for the various other villages or if not like why aren't there two quests um, at each village one of them giving you the you know reward of the uh, named locations um, or the, 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 the villages recoiler it's weird uh, or at least it's it's not that it's weird. It's that it's inconsistent in some way In the same sense like why is it the wardens at named locations or, or villages have uh, why don't they have status with the wardens? They're wardens. Why why don't they have? Uh, why aren't they at least liked by the fellowship of wardens? I wonder what the mechanical decision was uh, there like why did the why did the devs decide that uh, wardens in in villages, randomly generated villages, were not worth worthwhile to give you reputation with wardens. Is it just that warden reputation is too valuable? We are again inspired. We're we're making all kinds of recipes. Oh shoot! I ate food and now I can't make now I can't make a recipe. Shoot. I think we're almost at 80 uh, recipes made, so we're kind of seeing, seeing the, the light at the end of the tunnel on uh, recipes. I don't know how many how many uh, achievements do I have now? I have officially 70 achievements out of 100. Now the thing is, I fully expect um, I ex fully expect the game or Caves of Cut to get new achievements when the Moon Stair comes out. One of the reasons why I wanted to uh, try and get... Oh, cool, we have a Legendary Croc. Uh, that's why I wanted to get all of the achievements before the Moon Stair update came out. Now, I, I don't have confirmation on that. That is 100% a guess. Um, and you know what? If I was 
to like that would be true for just about any other game but i don't think that the devs of caves of cud <clears throat> necessarily super care about achievements i think it's something they did for fun um but i don't actually think it's like a uh, kind of a priority for them it's a priority for other games because uh other games kind of appeal to gamers and i don't think that caves of cud does <laughs> Uh, I don't think that Caves of Cud makes much of any effort to appeal to gamers. Um, and I think that that isn't necessarily because, uh, you know, Cud or the devs are antagonistic towards uh, gamers. You know, and when I say gamers, I really just mean like uh, the culture of, of gaming. It's really just like, I, I, I feel like they make the game for themselves first and then uh you know everyone else second and then you know so it really is like oh you know it'd be kind of fun we should do some more achievements and that's kind of where it begins and ends I, I feel like a lot of other games when an update is being done there there's like a checklist of like okay we gotta appeal to our community in this way and that way and you know make no mistake there is a level of that but it's not the same level of like um, I don't know, marketing driven, uh, community, you know, um, management that a lot of other games, uh, seem to, you know, uh, exist in loved by unshelled reptiles, hated by antelopes, admired by mysterious strangers, hated by mysterious strangers. Well, so what I'm hearing is that we get unshelled reptile rep, um, which is always nice. I always love that. So let's go ahead and beguile our friend here and then make friends with them uh, and then tell them to stay and then never visit them again. We are now on neutral term with unshelled reptiles, which is fantastic. I love to see it. Love to see unshelled reptile rep at neutral. Uh, direct to stay there. I don't think there's anyone else here that uh, we care about. I'm pretty sure it's all much the same business. That This was the legendary croc and that was it. Wow. We really do take damage from uh, jilted lovers, don't we? We got a glow sphere. That's kind of nice. And a salve. We did spend a lot of those, didn't we? Uh, have we spent our... Well, we've pretty much spent our gas like Chris, so let's go ahead and charge that up again. And uh, I wouldn't mind just leaving. Let's leave. Let's leave. I have an idea. I right, used to have the... The Patrick voice was on, on point. Not so much anymore. I think it's partly I got to I got to expel a lot of air when I do the Patrick voice and it's uh potentially uh health risking. I I'm going the wrong way here. I'm, I should be heading right and I was heading left instead. All right. We're, we we are hidden through here. There's really not much to say about any of this. I'm I'm kind of tired of fungal forests, to be honest. Oh god, and that's why. Well, fortunately, we didn't get itchy skin, which is nice. Appreciate that it's a chance-based things. Uh, wax weep, honey weep. Nothing nothing really exciting there. Honestly, I don't know what I would be excited by in a uh, fungal forest, except for maybe wine and cider weeps. That's about it. Ooh, we got a, a, a rather expensive bit there. That's kind of nice. Ooh, and we have uh, barathermites. Are you someone I want to make friends with? Uh, loved by barathermites, disliked by birds. That's fine. We can make we can make enemies to birds. Sorry. Sorry, uh, friends to birds. He'll teach me how to make uh, craft spray brain. 
if I so choose. Why don't you share a, dra uh, a secret with me? What kind of secrets do you have? The location of some forgotten ruins. Um, shares the location of White Tapad. Is another ruined ruin. Um, yeah, I mean, like that's kind of nothing to be honest. I I don't know if Barathor might reputation is worth spending for that. What do you got? EMP Mark One, Flashbang, Freeze Ray, Slip Ring, Vibro Dagger, Vi Vibro Dagger, quite good. Is this Tinker Two? It is Tinker Two. We're not. Uh, it's gonna be a while before we see Tinker Two. I'm um, pretty sure I say that like every single run. Uh, I'm good. I don't really want to spend money on a on a data disc for an item I can't make for I don't know even like how long. Good. This is a good zone. Lots of uh, nice uh, trinkets and bits and bits and bobs, you know. Not much else here just collecting the rest of the trash um i think we're almost done with the marsh no we're not really it just keeps kind of going on and on um we really i guess uh what i should be doing is uh exploring the canyons next this is going to be a very explorey explorer heavy uh playthrough of cud we do have a vast animus. This is good. Where is our vast animus? And, uh, oh, there they are. What was that? Did they throw a grenade? A grenade? What, what is a grenade? <laughs> um, I don't know what they did. It doesn't really say. But I killed them. No ego yet. Yeah, I, I noticed like we got we gained 12 glimmer from gaining an extra um, mutation. It seemed or not. Oh, I guess we didn't gain 12 glimmer. We only got we only technically gl gained like two glimmer, three glimmer. Um, so I don't know. There's not a lot of uh, mutations I would have taken on more glimmer for, but I'm I'm pretty comfortable with our glimmer right now. Uh, it will become less and less um, fun. As time goes on because as I gain more ego um, so too will our our mutations gain a ridiculous amount of power and the glimmer is going to be ridiculous I don't think I want any new mutations until basically I want to gain the 200 glimmer achievement um, doing the math I basically need 20 mutations for that to happen that's assuming we have plus seven ego. Um, you know, all, all of that is a lot, right? So what does that really mean? You know, I should continue doing the math. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five mutations. So I need like 16-ish mutations. Uh, and then, hey, uh, 16 times four. Well, what is that? Well, that's going to be... 40 plus 24 that's going to be 64 we need 64 mutation points <laughs> oh that's a spicy meatball um that's a lot of mutation points you know it, it sounds like a lot and it is um but one thing that will help is uh hopefully we can get some eaters nectar injectors Eaters Nectar Injectors, I've talked a lot um, in the past about how they are not as good for mutants as they are for Eater, for, for Trukin. I love tru playing Trukin, but that's fine. Um, they do, however, uh, give us one advantage in this playthrough, which is... Oh, hello. Welcome to the party. Oh, you did a... You did a destroy, did you? What are you doing? You block with your shield. 
Still haven't gotten any ego from them. Getting very unlucky with the ego. Um, the Eater's Nectar Injectors uh, do offer mutation points for, for mutants. Which I generally don't value as much as attribute points for obvious reasons. Legendary Madpool. Well, there's a lair we will never go to. Um... Oh, you went ahead and destroyed my weird artifact. I don't even know what that is, but you destroyed it. What a jerk. Okay, well... Well, that's what I get for, uh... Fighting kudzu symbioted... Oh, hey, ape. Is that ape flying? It is flying. <laughs> Disliked by robots. Uh, hated by apes. Or sorry, loved by apes. We're on good terms with apes. Uh, robots, we are at what exactly? We're at negative 525. Also hated by pariahs. Would actually like to kill this ape. Are these kudzu symbi- yeah, they're kudzu symbiote apes. This is actually a really tough fight. And also they've, uh, they've time dial dilated. Um, what I'm gonna do is apes should be fairly easy to proselytize. Never mind. I really hate proselytize. I've really grown to hate it. It's really become one of my least favorite skills in the entire game because it just never works <laughs> okay what we're gonna do is i'm gonna dominate this ape should be much easier than proselytize and then i'm just gonna fight other apes and hopefully my hologram will not pop off while i fight as other ape ape together strong remember that so the obvious thing to do is to split up ape into multiple groups one ape equals love and the other ape equals hate it's a hape if you will and and with this in mind we will kill we will destroy ape Uh, I really don't want to be... They, they keep swapping places. Okay. Okay, one more ape that is not the legendary ape. Okay, so now I am fighting the legendary and they don't, they don't, they seem very cool with the fact that I am fighting them. This, uh... I really wish I had discovered this hologram meta before because this is kind of amazing. Fine. They're still friendly with me for some reason. Wounded. The albino ape dies. Oh, I see. Our, our uh, legendary ape is flying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Go take this other ape over here, end the domination, and then we're gonna start shooting this other ape. Hopefully they do not rip me apart. Can we intimidate them? Yes. Where are they? They keep disappearing. <laughs> they go to the next screen? There they are. A time dilated, which is actually a really big problem for me. It's very tired of this grass that keeps getting in my way. Injured, wounded. Wounded. I am out of lays. Um, let's uh, get our hologram back. Oh, 
okay what do we want to do at this point they are pretty damaged we could just hit them is our gaslight chris at full it is let's just let's just hit them oh we can't because they're up in the air okay they're knocked prone now we we go to town badly wounded come on don't don't die we're at four health swear to god after all of that we die i got him down to badly wounded and then i die oh man well, luckily, we're in a fairly advanced part of this. Uh, an ape with um, time dilation is actually a very dangerous thing, I'm realizing. Because, like, their whole shtick is they, uh, they, they can stun and daze you. So the idea that you could be time dilated and stunned is just like really nasty. Okay, um, can we beguile them? Yeah, let's beguile them for a moment. Um, ogles you lovingly. I guess if I attack them now, then then that will be that. Um, direct ability use, fly not allowed. Injured. They seem to be cool about this. They're still friendly towards me. Wounded. Wow, my lays didn't penetrate their armor. Wounded. Uh, this is such a pain in the butt. You have no more ammo for this. I, I really need to get another ranged weapon, and that's really dumb. Because I had a bunch of ranged weapons and I just, like, sold them. Um, they're still wounded. Okay, three charges. They're still flying, which is, like, really annoying. <laughs> like, stop flying. <laughs> I, I told you to stop using that ability and they're still using it. They have psychometry, which is fun. Swoop. Um, boop boop. I've, I've turned streamer mode off. Hold on a second. I need to turn that back on before we hear another boop. You probably didn't even hear it. That's fine. I, I need you to die. You are, like, really not dying right now. Knocked prone. Okay, now now we we smack them. There we go. Apes are now indifferent. Robots increased by 95. Barely worth it, honestly. Barely, barely worth it. God, that was such a pain in the butt. That was such an absolute pain. I... I... Whew. Well, I mean, like, legendary ape group. Like, the whole group is, is kind of a pain in the butt in the first place. And then we're fighting the legendary ape. Like, it, it, it's a lot. And uh, my character's still kind of squishy. So, you know, um, it's not an easy task. One of the reasons I'm not playing in pure classic mode is because, like, stuff like this is just going to be a real pain in the butt and end our run many many times okay we have run out of swamp so we will back pedal um pretty sure we're we're on the kind of spire part of uh the swamp so we'll, we'll go over here because there's a little tiny bit of swamp over here you're famished well that's good because we need to make some more recipes 
Fresh foods. Let's use ingredients. Um, honey, acid, star apple. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing stuff together now. Acid resistance. That's kind of nice. I could definitely uh, see some circumstances in which that would be useful. All right, we're in red rock there, so we don't want to go over there. Crocodile. A vast animus. Could we get lucky and uh, get some permanent ego? Oh, they are a uh, plant. They are a plant god. Uh, let's sprint around the... Ooh. They just killed like half their... Oh, no, that was the tumbling pod. There we go. Permanent uh, ego. Yes, please. All right. So we, we did three and we uh, we finally got our, our ego. So that's going to help a little bit. That'll buff up uh, uh, all of our abilities a little bit. Um... Nice. Well, I guess that's the other reason that exploring, like doing something like combing the entire salt marsh is actually um, pretty beneficial for us because we have more chances, first of all, to get inspired. Remember when deep in the wilds of Sugapa... Oh, this is just a uh, reputation. This is the lore of the Sultans. Um, the more zones we explore, the more chances we have to get inspired, the more chances we have to find uh, lore, the more chances we have to get reputation. It's just a good thing, and unfortunately it is quite grindy, um, but like, you know, it's, it's the game. It is the game, and this is the easy way of doing it, and I've already died doing this. You know, imagine how difficult it would be uh, if we, you know, if we were doing this the hard way, what is even the hard way? I don't know. Like, ruin diving, I suppose. Whatever way I generally do it is the hard way, and this is the easy way. Which I guess is still technically the way that I'm doing it, but... I generally don't explore the salt marsh. It's not... It's not beneficial enough. I guess after this, we could do the desert. I don't really want to do the salt desert because... We're not going to get the stuff that we need. The desert is good for getting, um, like, Barathermite lore or reputation and maybe for finding Pewtis Templar, but not really for much else. There's not really a lot of stuff that is relevant to us. Like, I want to find some Snapjaw Forts. That's the kind of run we're doing right now. Okay. You're lost. How can I be lost? Regain your bearings. Yeah, I would hope so. Can you imagine someone just like appearing in your little area? And they just like pew 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 and like one shot kill on every single one of their shots. That's kind of ridiculous. Like, I don't know. That's some John Wick stuff right there, you know? We are continuing in silence uh, the exploration of... Uh, the swamp. Until, until there's, I guess I could do cuts, you know? I probably won't, but I could always do cuts until I get to find something interesting. There usually is, though, as soon as I find it. Cursed kin of the a fish. A, a settlement. Oh, this is a settlement, not a village. We don't care so much about settlements. They're nice and all, but, eh. Okay, are we... Yeah, we are in the new... The new zone. Wait, did I go to the center? I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Stop doing that. 
just want to make sure I explore everything, you know. Nice thing about exploring a zone is that way I don't have to spend the uh, the skill points to uh, get, way get wayfaring. You can't possibly get lost in a zone uh, if you've explored every single part of it. It's impossible. You will always regain your, your bearings. What I should do at some point is figure out the math on how much of the swamp there is, not just on the surface, but deep. So I could just like be the master of the swamp, just like every single parasang and every single inch of strata is is known to me. Nothing is hidden from my from my sights. I, I know everything about the swamp. <laughs> It's the smallest biome in the whole game. It's the only one you could possibly do this with. I think the I think 30 strata. It's either 30 or 40 strata, and there's a big difference there, but is is as deep as things get. So, um, you know, however many tiles times 9 because that's how many zones we're talking about here. Uh, times 40. I think that's kind of maybe too many I don't know if that would be worth it even as a meme I think uh, I think at a certain point I would get so bored with that that it would not be worth it imagine what kind of stuff you could find though you, I feel like you'd really be testing the limits of uh, Caves of Cud's generation like, how interesting could you make the, the salt, ter like, generation, the salt marsh generation underground? I know at a certain point, all the caves are just, like, the caves. There's not really anything necessarily... In oh, we're on good terms with Crocs, so that's cool. You know, they're, they're all pretty much the same in terms of generation. They're, I don't know, like, outside of ruins, I don't think that there's much difference in different biomes underground. Like, under... Underneath the canyons is not any different from underneath the uh, the salt desert is you know any different from underneath the salt marsh. I could be wrong, and you know honestly, even thinking about it, I probably am wrong about that because uh, I have been underground in the the salt desert and it has been a little bit different. So I don't know. Okay, we are continuing to explore. We're very, we're, we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, uh, and we are also seeing the light at the end of the tunnel for this episode because it's almost over. But we are almost done here. Uh, there's still like five pair of things left, so actually, I feel like we should just call it here. Um, if you are enjoying the series, I know it's been kind of grindy and dull, but. You know, I, I think it's all important in some way. Um, but if you've been enjoying it, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And uh, thank you very much to the supporters of the coffee. Y'all have been doing great. I really appreciate you so much. And uh, just so you know, I've launched a Discord. You can check that out if you want to get notified for when I upload uh, videos or go live on YouTube. Uh, or you can opt out of notifications and just hang out with other like-minded simples like myself. And uh, we'll, we'll see you next time. Take it easy.